Welcome to Coaches Weekly. I'm CJ Selner here with head women's lacrosse coach Brian Patterson. Coach, first game out of the way, yeah. result not exactly as we want it, but the girls played hard in front of a very good home crowd. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, we expected there's going to be some, uh, some bumps around the road, and we kind of uh, saw something like this happening, but uh, the good thing was that the girls kept fighting hard. Uh, they fought to the end. They played their best. And, you know, uh, they really got to see what Cosmo Cross is going to be like. And hopefully coming up, they will be able to translate that into some, some better plays, more wins. Now we'll talk about two athletes, your two goal scorers in the game, uh, Margaret Doan and Sonia Sorensen, both getting in. Sonia scoring the first <laughs> ever lacrosse goal at CUC. The ball's now in the trophy case. Yes. And it'll be there in a, for a long time. And yeah. nobody can take that away from you guys. Yeah, um, um, I, I I was very shocked uh, that it was Sonia. It was it was really cool that that she was the one. You know, she's a senior, so you know she has to leave that that, that last mark on the school. So that's that's a great way for her to go out. And Maggie, Maggie's gonna be a player for us for years to come. You know, she's only a freshman, uh, new to sports like everybody else on my team, but you know, very hard worker. So glad to see that she was able to uh, tally two goals and uh, really set the tone for our team as far as scoring, hopefully. Yeah, you get a positive outlook. Obviously, mm -hmm. nobody's really played the sport besides one player we obviously talked about last week. But to have that kind of get their feet wet now that they understand the game a little bit, you can kind of start to adjust things in practice a little bit. Yeah, yeah. The, the biggest thing that we saw that we have to work on is our uh, aggressiveness. Uh, during the game, at times, you know, we kind of shied away from contact, shied away from uh, really getting after it. And now that we saw that, uh, we geared our last couple practices to make them more aggressive, make them not worry about the, the pushing and shove that may go on and just keep playing through things. Because so most of the, the players out there uh, that actually play other sports play sports that had little to no contact. So when they get bumped, they're not used to that sort of uh, thing. So uh, getting in practice and really going after it, hitting hard, things like that, I think it's going to uh, turn out really well for us tomorrow. I think that especially works in well with your assistant coach, Liz Blake. Mm -hmm. From what I've seen from her, I've played catch with her, obviously, mm -hmm. in the gym a few times, but she seems like she was an aggressive type player when she played. Yeah, Liz, uh, she, initially she played goalie, then from goalie switched her to defense, and uh, if you're playing defense, you have to be an aggressive player. You know, you have to be physical, uh, not scared of any kind of contact, thing like that. So uh, she's trying to pass it along to the players and show them, like, hey, look, you're going to get hit, you're going to get bumped, but play through it. And also showing our defense that, hey, you need to be the aggressor, you need to uh, take over your space, maintain that space, and make sure everybody's going away from our goal. Now you guys get ready for an Elmhurst game tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Elmhurst, another good program that you guys are going to take on. Mm -hmm. What kind of adjustments and what kind of expectations do you have heading into a game like that tomorrow? Well, um, it's going to be fun to, to go get that game because uh, I've known the Elmhurst coach for a long time now. So, you know, uh, a little bragging rights between the two of us. So that's always a fun thing to do. Uh, but beyond that, uh, I know the players because before uh, CUC, I was at Concordia. So I know the players and um, I'm hoping to use my knowledge uh, from that to be able to design a game plan that will uh, – generate a more positive result for us. You know, it might not be a W, but at least we're, we're working harder, we're getting better, and we're moving down the path to success. And regardless of results, I feel like the biggest thing to you is a team that you're going to just be proud of because they play hard. They played hard in front of a good crowd for you guys mm -hmm. in game one, and I assume that's what your expectation is, mm -hmm. win, lose, or draw. Correct, correct. Uh, you know, normally, coaching is a results-based business, and the result being that, that almighty W, but for us, being such a new program, I don't think of it that way. I just make sure that my players are learning, make sure my players are progressing, and just making sure that they're having fun the whole time that they're doing this. So you guys get ready. Elmhurst, first a road game, what kind of, a, what kind of message do you have for your team heading into that game? Well, the main thing with the whole road game thing, you know, you have to block that out of your head. I've told them and I've warned them that you may hear things from stands, you may hear things from fans that you may not like. You have to be able to block that sort of thing out. I'm not saying that Elmer's going to do anything like that. Please don't uh, get mistaken. Thank you for that. But uh, they need to be blocked the best things out and just focus on the task at hand and make sure that you're doing their job and you're helping your teammates out. Well, we wish you guys the best of luck tomorrow against Elmer's. Cougars at Elmhurst tomorrow afternoon. We look forward to talking to Coach in a couple of weeks after spring break, after hopefully a good result after the long road trip to Minnesota. Yep. For Coach Brian Patterson, I'm CJ Selner. Thank you for watching Coaches Weekly.